Hello Tutors, it's Gav. Welcome to another one of my videos. It's just a quick unboxing this one. We're looking at the Epic Battles Hail Caesar The Punic Wars because I've read it on the box. Uh, four Carthaginian war elephants. Yes Gav, they're not hamsters, they're war elephants. And uh, I've, I've got them out of the box and I'm really impressed actually. So let's go down to the bench and quake, quake. take a quick look. You get a simple instructions sheet or little booklet. Uh, as you can see, they are simple to put together. You don't get any of these. Uh, this is just for the war elephants. And they give you a basic uh, shading type of thing. So it's, it's not really um, probably that useful. Uh, they give you some hints and tips uh, you know, the colours that they've used on their own elephants. So that's that. Now you get two sprues. I'll only show you the one because they're, they're both exactly the same. But I was I was very impressed. Let's have a look at the uh, sides of the... Obviously the elephants come in halves. A, a nice plastic that can easily be sanded but not being too soft. Got our shields there. You don't get any transfers, or well, not in my box anyway. Um, so if you want to do a shield design you'll have to come up with a nice simplistic one. Uh, big base, let's actually come out a bit again. I was trying to find you the elephant heads. It's like it's hanging off somebody's wall in some 1950s film. Uh, this one's got the like the bronze headpiece to it with like tassels underneath. Obviously a bit more simplistic uh, because of the scale. Uh, it's got its, um, its sleeves over its tusks, but I thought, you know, very nicely rendered. Uh, the obviously ears go over the top and to the back of the head. Uh, I believe this is a howder, uh, and they could be painted either in. Uh, these are actually quite, quite um, flat, uh, but they would often do them as a uh, fake stone towers. Uh, literally paint them as like as if they were stone. Um, they'd also just have plain wood, uh, but obviously if you've got a war elephant, quite often they'd be done in different colours as well. Um, I'm having to really dredge my memory for <laughs> for this type of topic. Uh, you've got a nice uh, saddle blanket, for want of a better word, um, and like a, a leather embossed, nice chain work. Um, I'm looking at our figures. They're quite nicely posed, actually. I could, you know, simplistic, obviously, for the scale, um, but all designed to fit. You know, glued surface to surface. That's our mahout. Who actually commands the elephant? They usually have the spike there because it, they're supposed to carry. I don't know if this one guy has, but they normally carry a like a, a big hammer and a chisel so if the war elephant went crazy which they often did um, or hyped up if it, if it was going really bad you'd literally smack the chisel into the uh, back of the elephant's head and kill it into its brain um, and then we've got obviously is it Sarissa I'm not sure but uh, in a long spear there pike for want of a better word uh, just bear with me a minute while I flick to our other elephant head. I'm having to look from behind the camera because, usual, I've got so much on my on my desk. I'm having trouble fitting everything in. Uh, the other elephant, fairly plain, uh, no embellishments on him or her. I believe they they're not tended to be female elephants. I believe the Carthaginian, Carthaginian elephants were. Um, I think they were mainly small African elephants. I think, I think they're even. I'm not sure if they're actually extinct now. Not obviously elephants in general, uh, but um, I believe they used a smaller elephant. I might be wrong. Don't quote me on that. It's been a while um, since I've uh, I've picked up one of my books. But yeah, there you go. A uh, simple base for you to jazz up how you would require. Um, and you get, oh, there's the rest of the howder there. 
fr uh, back and f or back and front to take it. So as I say, enough to make four elephants on each sprue, and uh, I think that's actually uh, a really nice detailed elephant. And f the figures are good enough um, with detail at this scale. You don't really need too much more detail, and you you know you'd, you'd never paint it in. Um, too much less than they're just like blobs. I think that's just about the right uh, the right type of uh, you know uh, look to them if that makes sense. Doesn't really does it, but I know what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, two of those. Uh, they'll be coming up, built and painted this week. Hopefully, I'll get them on eBay the weekend. Uh, I just, I've just like most people, I've always <laughs> loved war elephants. <laughs> so I had to, I had to take a dip into it and, and have a go. So look after yourselves. Thanks for stopping by. Um, not really much else I can say about them. Would I recommend them to a friend? I would indeed. Uh, I would definitely give them a probably a 10 out of 10. I'll, I'll go in on the sprue. I don't know what the, fit, the fitment's going to be like, but uh, no, I'm uh, very impressed. Uh, price, uh, I really couldn't, can't remember how much I paid for them. 17, 18 pound, it could have been 20 pound. I honestly can't remember. It was an eBay buy. I wasn't impressed with the uh, person who just put it in a jiffy bag and as usual I've got a nice crumpled box at the other end. But uh, what can you do? So look after yourselves. Uh, coming up, I've got a 40k uh, Necron to show you. Uh, Royal Warden, I believe it's called. Um, and some other bits and pieces. So uh, look after yourselves. Thanks for stopping by. We'll catch each other soon on another video.